Welcome to WEC Full Access. Episode 4. We are under red flag. We have a thunderstorm which is approaching the circuit. Sebring race day. A thousand miles. Fierce, intense, breathtaking and unpredictable. We're telling you a story. The story in three acts. The start, the crash, the storm. in season 10 of the FIA World Endurance Championship and Alpine have the lead from pole. Such a tough track, it's a real man and machine breaker. On board now with our race leader in traffic, Jose Maria Lopez, oh contact! And he's on the grass, Lopez in real trouble here, the barrier's close, contact with the barriers, it looked like a glancing blow and he is continuing, looks like the bodywork's dropped on the right front and he's in trouble! Red flag. Red flag, red flag. Oh! And he touched the nose. Oh! 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 Oh. The nose is stuck down and I uh, can't steer. Oh, oh. Did we line up now? Um, this side. <laughs> yes, normally already I think they will line up in the pit lane because see you can't go on the wall. Yeah. So it will be 20 minutes for sure. And the repair is 30 minutes. Will be uh, 30 minutes, I'm sure. Wait one minute, two, three minutes. Okay. What goes through your mind when you're sitting inside the car like that is, is pretty horrific, I must say. Uh, I've been there myself in 2012 at Le Mans when the car turned upside down and it seems to go on forever. It slows down and you process things so quickly from inside the cockpit. And it, it, you think about many things. You definitely feel about your safety as you head towards the tyre barrier, as Jose did today. And any racing driver that's been through that can certainly respect the fact how scary it is. He spin, and then he was so fast, and then I think... Uh, so he hit the wall the first time or not? Yeah. Okay. I just saw the end when you spin in the grass, and then you continue. But then he was so fast that they want to break and then go straight. Okay. He's okay. He's okay. He was out of the walking out of the car, but wow. I never saw a LMP1 car like this since I don't know. I was big. Huh? It's a big crash. Yeah, it's on the roof. And uh, he hit the wall and then he got. Uh, Good to see Jose Maria Lopez released from medical attention. He'll leave the track after his horrifying crash. Work to repair the barriers continues. Drivers waiting for the word to restart. 30 minute delay, but a chance to chat with some fans. Where's your Corvette hat or Corvette shirt? 
It's in the trailer over at where uh, guys I'm sure it is. 15, where I <laughs> camp at. And I came over here to visit and everything's going on over there. But I get to talk to you. So I'm just giving you a hard time. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's got to. Yeah. If we're on the podium, we'll, we'll give you a hat or something. All right, guys, have fun. All right, good luck. No update other than just 10 minutes, basically. Yeah. Okay. And then at three minutes, you're in the car. I want to leave the power off until then, at least. Yeah. Okay. So let's go green, green, green. We are racing again here in Seabrook. For me, it's just coming more. Yeah, but before when he was driving, there was some flashes coming there also, oh. and it was really. But now it looks like it's moving this way. Uh huh. And this is exactly how this race finished. Like when we were WEC was last year, three years ago, is exactly the same. Just they didn't red flag it, but a lot of rain came. Drivers preparing to restart after red flag, but ominous skies overhead. Will we get to the finish? The race is effectively over. I was here racing myself a few years ago when the rain came down, lots of cars were going off track, and it's a really treacherous racetrack when it rains here due to the concrete surface, which is the original surface of this track, of course, from back in the day when it was a, an, an American airbase. Those concrete slabs still remain today, and it's absolutely like ice when it rains here. But again, the race was called short, uh, hopefully one day we can come here in Sebring and see the entirety and actually make it the 1,000 miles of Sebring that is always branded to be, because it wasn't that today. I was behind the United car. We came back so late. Last, last corner, 17. Seven. Front lock. Get better. The most important thing is emotion. Unbelievable, Roma. The last time you raced for us, you were fourth. This time you're third. At Spa, you'll be second. And then what comes after that? You can sign it, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. I'm thank you. Men and machines made it through. Another battle, another race. Time to celebrate, but not for long. Round two is just around the corner. Next up for the World Endurance Championship, Spa-Francorchamps, a freshly renovated circuit. I'll see you there.